Hello everyone, Sagi Bali from the Dexter World with this exciting video. There is a 134% rise in ransomware and malware attacks from 2020. Unfortunately, these ransomware and malware attacks are one step ahead of the security personals. They can definitely bypass your defense system, your anti-malware and protection systems in place. So what to do if a ransomware attack actually has happened and you are being asked for a ransom should you go for the negotiation and pay for the ransomware should you delete the files of your precious data should you inform the law enforcement agencies and response teams or should you wait for a free decryption tool available online somewhere in future all these questions will be answered in this video stay connected now i'm gonna tell you the straightforward steps how to respond for a ransomware attack number one you have to have isolate your infected system your infected system or your infected network contains malware you have to have isolate that system from the network to save the other systems on the network just pull out the ethernet wire or turn off the wi-fi the number two and most important step in the ransomware response is secure your backups why why should i secure my backups because whenever your files are held for the ransomware you have no option to restore all the files from a backup you have to have secure your backups disconnect any backup storage system from your network your pc any external hard drive connected to your system you should immediately disconnect from the system unless the backup itself get infected number three option is pretty strange but it is very necessary just create a backup of your infected system yes i am talking about the infected system why i will tell you the two reasons number one is if you get the decryption tool decryption key from a ransomware attacker it is not obvious that this decryption tool will work if in the process of decrypting your files sometimes in a decryption process some bytes at the end or tail bytes got truncated that make data unusable so you must have a backup of your encrypted files the second reason to create a backup of your infected system is that sometime in future the free decryption tool for your type of ransomware attack so you have to create a backup of your infected system the number four is the free ransomware identification service i will tell you the two ransomware identification services online these are free services you can upload your encrypted file and these services will identify the type of ransomware attack they will identify the digital footprints of that ransomware and if any free tool available for decryption they will tell you and they will provide you the free decryption tool you can see on the screen number one is mc soft decryption tool and number two is id ransomware malwarehunterteam.com i will provide the links for these identification services in my video's description and the next question is should i pay for the ransomware attack to answer this question you have to ask yourself the cost value analysis if your system is undergoing a ransomware attack and your business is being hurt and you are on the edge of bankruptcy and you think your business will be wiped out if you don't pay the ransom then you can consider paying the ransom but if we think other way around your ransomware payment is not surpassing the cost of business outage then you should wait for the free description tool online so that's all for this video in this video i told you all the possibilities all the response possibilities response options uh, if a ransomware attack has happened to your system if you want to avoid any type of ransomware attack you should make your defenses more secure if you are using windows 10 operating system you should turn on control folder access and the ransomware protection in windows 10 thank you so much for watching please stay tuned for more videos please subscribe my channel like my video share with your friends thank you so much bye bye